Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Amanda and in today's video I'm going to kind of do an introduction to this channel and go over who I am, my type of incomes, um, the different cash envelopes and sinking funds I have and why, and just kind of um, share myself with you all so you guys can get to know who I am and what I'm going to go ahead and be doing on this channel. So if you are interested, please stick around and if you decide to, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, or go ahead and just leave a comment down below. So to start off, I am a 19 year old college student. I am currently a freshman, but I will be a sophomore next year. So that's kind of where I stand. I don't have a full-time job. If anything, I hardly ever work a part-time job. It's kind of occasionally, like I did have a job before I had to come home due to the pandemic. But besides that, I do DoorDash, Instacart, kind of freelance stuff, but never really enough to make a hundred a week. Just because I don't Luckily, I fortunately don't have bills yet. Um, I do help my mom with my phone bill though sometimes because she kind of gave us a free year, and I think it's a year, to just enjoy college and then we have to start paying. Um, I do have one credit card. No debt yet. <laughs> like, I, I completely pay it off all the time. Um, and then, other than that, I think that's really my financial state. Um, we'll get into the debt I do have, because since I am in college, I do have some student loans um, that are quite large. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and get into that um, and discuss what this is, as well as everything else. So let's just go ahead and jump right into that. So to start with my little planner, also sorry that my rug is like super dirty. Um, this may or may not be the setup all the time, um, just because I'm sitting on the floor and I know writing would kind of not be comfortable. This is my planner. I got this from Michaels. It's just super cute and basic. So I want to say it was about $12. I'm not completely sure, but Michaels does always have some sales. So if I can find this, I'll link it down below, um, just in case any of you all want to buy this, because it does fit my envelopes perfectly. So when you open the button, in here I have my weekly spending envelopes. So I keep my sinking funds separately now. Um, and these, I will just pull money out if I know that I'm going to be using something from it. So in here I have a food envelope, a personal envelope, um, groceries, pets, and entertainment. So right now none of these have money in them because I currently don't have a job however I do have some money coming in soon because I sold some things online so that will most likely be budgeted in one of these videos so stay tuned for that so next we have these little divider sections that came with the planner however the spreadsheets that you see in the back did not so if you want these I did make them you can go ahead and just check out my Instagram which will be on the screen um, DM me and I can figure out a way to send these documents over to you that way you can size them to whatever planner you have because these are actually four by seven inches that's how small this thing is the first tab has my cash envelope one so i'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit so you guys can see so it says cash envelopes and then it has every single month of the year and then i would just highlight whatever month we are in when i'm doing the budgeting so I have a blank for paycheck number as well as the income amount. Um, I tried to make them super simple just because as of right now I don't really have that large of an income and I also don't have bills. So um, that's why my spreadsheet is what it is. So I have my envelopes listed here and the starting amount would be whatever was either left over in my envelope or again starting. So right now these would all have like zero except for entertainment. Um, then budget is whatever I'm adding in that pay period in total. It's just me adding up across. So this total is me adding down the columns um, for each one. That way I can know my complete starting amount, the amount I'm actually putting into my envelopes, and then how much I should have afterwards. So the cash breakdown down here is mainly for me, um, just so when I'm doing my cash stuffing videos, I'll know what bills are going for what. Because I know sometimes I'll write down my amounts but not remember whether or not I chose two tens for a 20 or a $20 bill. So that's what this is here for. It also helps me when I do go to the bank and get my certain denominations. Um, because as of right now, I write it on like a little sheet and I always mess up and I feel like the tellers like hate when <laughs> there's like scribbles everywhere. But yeah, so this is my cash envelopes spreadsheet. So in this next section, I actually have my sinking funds, which is set up a similar way with the 12 um, months of the year, the paycheck blank and the income blank. But these are all my sinking funds, so I have like Christmas, travel, electronics, blah, blah, blah. We will get into these in a second after I show you guys what's in the last tab. 
So the last one is my move out budget. So I am starting to save for an apartment eventually because um, I do plan on living off campus. It's just a matter of saving up myself because I'm obviously not going to rely on my parents or anybody else to help me with this. Um, however, I do plan to split fees with my boyfriend, so that will be what we do later on. Anyway, again, we have the 12 months of the year, and then I have my one-time fees such as security deposits, broker's fee, application fee, and then my monthly bills for six months worth. So these amounts are going to be very high. I don't have a page with my goals, but I do have them somewhere else um, just so I can keep track of it. They're also in my little budget thing, which we'll get to. So that's what this move out budget is. That's everything that's in this planner. Of course, whenever I need more, I'll print out more because right now I have five of each. So again, if you want those, just go ahead and DM me on Instagram and I'll definitely email them to you. Okay, so now for my sinking funds. I did film this section, but then I noticed it was out of focus. So, we're doing it again. But, anyway, I just use this Vera Bradley pencil pouch because I don't have a cosmetic bag yet, which is what I want to hold my sinking funds. I thought about making a larger envelope, but then I realized that it probably wouldn't close all the way, like at some point. So I figured I would go with this. So in here are my sinking fund envelopes, and I'm going to kind of just explain what each of them are. So gifts and Christmas is just the basic gifts and Christmas. Um, travel is for, again, just basic travel, but I am also supposed to be studying abroad in the fall. That, of course, may change because of the circumstances and whatnot, but even if it doesn't, or does I guess I still have money saved up for this in my bank account already but I want to start growing it in cash before depositing it um, just because I would feel better about it so next is electronics so I am wanting to get a new iPhone so that's kind of what this would be for as well as anything I might need for either my camera or a laptop so that's what that is so car maintenance is pretty self-explanatory, just anything my car needs. Um, I think I need to get an oil change pretty soon, but Walmart's not doing them yet. <laughs> so then we have medical. I am on my mom's health insurance still because I am 19, but it's just kind of a good thing to have, I think, um, because you can have an emergency fund, but not all emergencies are medical, so that's what this is for. Speaking of, here's our emergency envelope. Um, I didn't have one of these for a while because I just... I have like two bank accounts, so my second one was my emergency account, but I figured it's good to kind of just have cash on me too, or build this up and then deposit maybe like a third of it, um, so that's why I decided to make an envelope for this. So the next is Disney because obviously everybody wants to take a Disney trip, myself included. So although there's a travel envelope, I feel like Disney is just different. You know, it's kind of like its own trip. It needs its own thing. So that's what this is for. Then, of course, we have student loans because I really need to start saving towards this. I want to make payments before I even graduate just so the load is a little bit less heavy when I do graduate because um, I know they're stressful and I think right now I have about 15000 in student loans that I have to pay back and that's just off of one year in college so that kind of sucks. So the last thing in terms of budgeting that I have to talk to you guys about today is my moving out budget plan. So to begin, I got this file folder from Office Depot. I'll go ahead and link it down below if I can find it. I want to say it was about $5, if not less. Um, very helpful, very useful. I'm glad I picked this for this specific budget plan. So if you remember the last page in my little planner, um, I had a move out spread with a ton of different sections to kind of save for when you're moving into an apartment or planning to move. So that is what this holds. I decided to get this file folder just because, again, it holds a lot. So here we have security deposit, broker's fee, application fee, rent, and then it just kind of goes and goes and goes and goes. So of course this is going to be out of focus right now, but that is what it looks like. Um, the first time I filled this up, I put the same exact amount of money in every single category. So I think the first and only time I had contributed to this budget plan, I put 80. So every single section has $8. And inside of the sections, here, let me just show you. 
inside of the sections, I have a small little tracker that has the total amount in the corner, which let's see if you guys can see. So I have the total amount up here in the corner as well as the current amount in there. So every time I add, I'll just have the new total kind of written down on here. So that's what that is for. So anyway, sorry if this is a bad video, you know, I'm trying. I do have another YouTube channel and obviously on there um, I don't budget and I do actually show my face and it's just kind of a regular lifestyle, if you will, YouTube channel. So if you find it, you find it. If not, cool. <laughs> um, if you follow me on Instagram or choose to, you'll probably find it through there, which, you know, I don't mind. That's totally okay. If you like that content too, go subscribe over there. But that's all for my current budgeting little plans and organization things if you have any tips please 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 go ahead and let me know if you have any planners stickers etsy shops that you recommend please leave them down below because i would love to know if you also have any tips on how i can i guess better the video please be nice about it but go ahead and leave it down below that way i can improve because i want to just go ahead and make the best budgeting content that i can so as for what will be on this channel i will actually be doing cash envelope stuffings hopefully weekly check-ins um move-in budget plans on their own sometimes like I might do some check-ins with this separate from everything else um I do also plan to have cute little saving challenges like I am currently filling up a jug uh half gallon with coins just to kind of see how much I can save so maybe when I finally like go and deposit that money or count it in one of those machines i'll take you guys with me so you guys can see um how much i did save anyway i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in my next video which is hopefully a cash envelope stuffing so have a nice day and i'll see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>